hello welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can get started with career high so i'm going to walk you through everything that you need to know about career high and i will guide you through the installation steps also we're going to be building our first crew so let's move right to the video Creo High is an open source Python framework which is designed to support developing and managing multi agent AI system. So with Creo High, we can define agents, we can assign tasks and coordinate collaboration through a structured workflow. So first and foremost, we're going to discuss the Creo High agent. An agent is a fundamental component which is designed to perform specific tasks within a multi agent system. So for instance, we can have an event planner agent who is responsible for organizing event logistics or we may have a researcher agent that is tasked with gathering and summarizing information. So these agents, they can operate independently or they can collaborate with other agents in our workflow. Now let's break down what makes up a career agent. So we have the role, goal, backstory and tools. So we're going to discuss what each of these entails. So let's look at the first one, which is the role. The role actually describes what the agent is responsible for and how it fits into the overall system. So for example, we may assign a role, which is a researcher agent. So this actually defines the agent's duty or function within that system. While the goal specifies the objective the agent aims to achieve, so the goal helps to provide direction for the agent's action and decision. So the backstory gives background details or story that helps shape how the agents behave and interact. So we can call it context to guide the agent's behavior. So the last one, which is the tools, they are used to extend an agent's capability. So we may have a file reader tool, which enables an agent to extract and process information from documents, or we may have a web search tool that allow it to retrieve real-time information from the internet. So using this tool enhance the agent's performance, which enables it to gain access to real-time data. So now we're going to look at how we can configure our agents using a YAML file in Creo High. So how exactly do we configure an agent? So to configure an agent, an example is what we can see. So we have a researcher agent and we can see the different components that we mentioned earlier. We can see the role, we can see the goal, and we can see the backstory inside this example. So from the role, we mentioned um, what the agent is doing. So we also define the goal and we give a detailed backstory, which is what the agent is going to use. So this is an example of how you can configure your agent using a YAML file. So now that we've discussed what the Creo agent entails, so let's look at the Creo High tax. In Creo High, the tax defines the unit of work the agents get to execute. So under tax, we have different attributes, just like we have in agents. So we're going to explain each of these. So when we're talking about the description, the description provides a thorough explanation of what the tax involves. So while the expected output specify the desired results or formats the tax should produce. And how that the agents will specify the agents in charge of carrying out these tasks. So all these different attributes, we need to define it in our YAML file. So an example is this. So just like how we had for um, research agents earlier. So we also define the tags under the YAML file. Here we can see the research tags. We had the description, expected outputs, and the agent. Now that we've looked at both agents and tags in Creo High, we're also going to explain the Creo class in Creo High. In Creo AI, the class coordinates the multiple agents and their tasks, so which enables them to work together to execute complex workflow. So the Creo class serves as a central component that manages the sequence and interaction of tasks, which is performed by these various agents. So we also have different components of the Creo class. So the first one is the agents. We also have the tasks. We have the process flow and the verbose mode. So we're going to explain what each of these is. So the agents in Creo class is a list of agent instance, which is what we want to use within our Creo class. So we may have different agents that is working together in our workflow. So this is where we actually define everything. So while the tags, this is where we put all the different tags that we're using inside our workflow. So we put everything together inside the list. 
So we also have the process flow, which determines the execution strategy for all the tasks. When we're talking about the sequential, sequential means like tasks are executed in an orderly progression, which means they are executed one after the other. Whereby the hierarchy type is just like um, we have like a manager agent which coordinates the crew for which it delegates tasks to each of the agents. So we may decide to use either of this process flow in our crew class. So the next thing we're going to look at is the class decorator in Create High. So we have different class decorator, we have the agent, we have the tasks, and we have the crew. So this decorator automatically registers the components for the workflow. So the last thing we're going to look at is how we can execute the crew. So to execute the crew, we usually use the kickoff method to trigger the execution of tasks. So now that I've walked you through everything that you need to know about Crew High, which is all the agent crew class. So we're going to move to the installation steps and we're also going to build our first crew. So for installation, we need to create a virtual environment first. So to do that, we do Python um, VMV. And after that, we're going to activate the virtual environment. Yeah, another thing you must know is um, Crew AI requires um, Python 3.10 and above. So ensure you check your Python version before you actually start your installation. So the first tool we need to install is the UV. So the UV is um, the dependency which um, Crew AI uses. So we ensure to install this UV first on our machine. So to install it, you can do use pip to install it. So after that, you do UV tool install Crew AI. Right, send Crew AI is installed. So if I want to update the Crew AI, I could actually do UV. So, so then I do upgrade. So also if you encounter like a path error or like a path warning, something like that, so you can use this command. So now we have all everything that we need to install, which is we've installed the Crew AI and the UV, which we actually need. So also if you want to add more package, the UV is actually what you use um, with Crew AI. So let's say you want to install another um, let's say library so you do uv add then you put the name of the library you want to install so let's say maybe you want to install maybe auto 3 or something just do uv add auto 3 so it's going to install it so now that i've showed you how we can do the installation we're going to create our project let me clear this cell So to create our project, we're going to do crew a high, create the crew, then you pull the name of the project. So let's say you want to do the test a high development. We're going to select the provider we want to use. So we want to use open a high and the other, so we select it. So, but for our own implementation, we're going to be using Olama. So, I'm going to press 7 and enter. And I'm going to use the, you know, it's asking me which of the Olama I want to use. So, I'm going to press 1. So, I could actually change the Olama model later. So, but let's see what we have under the folder. Yeah, so we have different um, folder here. We have the knowledge, we have the you know, the source folder, so where we have the config. So we look at under this config, we have all the YAML file which we post. So and we also have the tools. So this is where we have the custom tools, and um, we have the crew file. So which is the crew.py, and we have the main.py and the test folder. So which is everything that we have under our projects. So you can see the name of the folder, which is the name of the project that we defined when we are trying to create the project. So also we're going to look at the .env. 
So under this .cmv is where we're going to have all our keys and API keys and everything. So we can see the model here. It has already defined it for us, you know. So we can also see the API base over here. So let's say I want to use a different Llama model. I can actually change this model to um, what I want to use. So under I want to use the 3.2 you know, Llama model. So I'm going to change it to that. So it's not compulsory like um, what we have under the prompt. So far you selected the Llama, you can use any model under Llama. So, and um, let's go to the config folder where we have all the YAML files so we can see everything that we have there. Yeah, so let's check the agent first. So we can see the YAML file for the agent. This is where we define everything about the agent. So we can see this is the first agent, which is the researcher agent. And we have the reporting analyst agent. So this has already created like a template for us. So I can actually update everything that I have here and change this to something else. Maybe I want, um, let's say a data analyst or something. So I can change this to something else. So under the reporting analyst, I can also change it to something else. So this is just like a template of how we want it to be defined. So same thing for tax, you know. So we define the research tax, we define the reporting tax. So under each of the tags, we have the description or we have the expected outputs and we also reference the agent that is carrying out this particular tax. So, and um, we did the same thing for the reporting tags as well. So each of the agents has a tax which they are meant to carry out. So that's why we assign the agent that is taking up each of those tags. So this is just for the YAML file. And let's go to the crew.py, so which is where we, we actually reference the YAML file. So here I'm going to reference each of the YAML file, which is the agents and the tags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change what we have here. Yeah, don't let me forget this part. So I'm going to say agent config is equal to, and I'll change this to config yeah so we've been able to reference both the agents and tax also just like we mentioned for the yaml files you know here we already have the template on how the crew high sorry the crew file is going to look like so and here we can see all those decorators you know we have the agents each of those agents so we have the researcher agents this is the researcher agents and we have the reporting analyst agent. So under here is actually where we you know all this YAML file, we reference it in each of the agents. So if you see the um you know we have the agent config. So let me go back to the config file and open yeah. So if we look at the researcher agent. So here we mentioned that the it is using the researcher. So which is for the from the YAML file, so which is this particular researcher is what it's using. So and the agent here, you know, we have the reporting analyst here as well. So we also reference the config file for that. So all this decorator is just to you know just to register each of those agents and also the tags. We can see the tags, you know, we do the same thing by using the um, by referencing each of the tags config for each of the tags. Also, if you look at the as crew, so this is where we actually combine everything, which is the agent and the tags. So if we come down here, you can see the crew class. So we reference the agents, so which is each of those agents, and we reference the tags. So if we look at the process, so we're saying like we want to execute this like linearly. So if we look at what we have under this comment, so let's say we want to do something like an hierarchical um, process, so we can uncomment this and change it to a hierarchical type. So, but here we want to refer, we want to use the sequential order. If ever is used for debugging process. So also, if you want any of our agents to use any tool, so we can pass in the tool here. We just do like a comma. Then we say 
tools equal to you know they will pass the name of the tool which we wanted to use so for instance if we look at this researcher agent you know, if we look at the uh, information about it you know we define it as a researcher that can actually look for latest development so it is very good for us to actually give it a tool you know we can use something like the SAPA api for that so before that we need to import it from the career high tools and under your dot env you define the api key here to use the SAPA api you use the SAPA dev website i'm going to attach the link below on their website you ensure you create a profile where you sign up and log in so after that you go to the api key section and you copy the api so it says SAPA api key to then you paste your api key so here i'm going to say you know what i imported i'm going to say separate dev to yeah it's already passed to over there let me clean this up so, so yeah we've defined our crew class so you can see the agent has been added and we can see the tags we can see the process then you know, added everything that we need so now we can run our code so to run your project, you first need to lock your dependency by doing, um, you can do create high install. Sorry, before I do that, I need to, you know, I need to be under the folder, which is the latest AI development folder. So then I do create high install. So we're going to deactivate the current environment which we are in. So, and we are going to, Use that new virtual environment. So I'm going to do dot vmv script it. So which is going to be the one inside the folder. Then I'm going to do view a high to run the project now. So from my results, we can see everything the agent um, carried out. So we see the, you know, this is from the researcher agents, and we also have the analyst, so which is the reporting analyst. So the tax we ask it to do. So yeah, this is the information about the tax, so and the findings, so which is everything it carried out. So let's scroll down. Yeah, so and if we see the results, you can see everything has been completed successfully. So and also there's one of those agents where we actually attach, you know, we ask it to create a report.md file. Yeah, so it was the reporting analyst. So we have the reporting analyst agent to create a report for us. So if we look at this report.md. Yeah, let's scroll down. So the, yeah, so if we look at the results from the reports, you no, know, it gave us all the detailed findings which was done. So by the researcher and um, it's compiled everything in the reports. So this is what we can see. So that's everything on the reports. So this is the end of this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please drop them below. Also, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see related content like this. Thanks for watching. I would love to see you next time.